Britain's Andy Murray defeats Spain's David Ferrer. 266476 to win the WTA Miami title. Namaskar, good afternoon. I'm Mark Lynn. You're with DD News. Here's our top story. The Supreme Court today dismissed the Swiss pharma company Novartis AG's plea for getting its blood cancer drug Glivec patented in India and restraining Indian companies from manufacturing generic drugs. The Apex Court also fined the Swiss pharma company. Novartis, in fact, applied for a patent for its new version of the drug, arguing that it, uh, it was easier to absorb and therefore qualified for a fresh patent. Well, moving on to our next story. Traveling in trains is set to become costlier from today as the hike in the reservation fee, the super fast charges and the Tatkal charges announced in the railway budget come into effect from today. According to the Ministry of Railways, the reservation fee for AC classes will be dearer by 15 to 25 rupees per ticket, while reservation fee for the second and sleeper class will remain unchanged. Will be costlier from Monday as the hike in reservation fee and super fast charges announced in the rail budget come into effect from Monday, April 1st. Besides hike in passenger fares, freight rate for all commodities will also go up by about 5.7 percent. While the cash strapped railways were expected to mop up about Rs 880 crores annually from the latest hike in service charges on train tickets, the freight rate revision will fetch Rs 4200 crores for the national transporter in the fiscal 2013 and 14. Though the railways did not increase basic passenger fares in the rail budget, it had proposed increase of the reservation fee, super fast, that call charges. Cancellation and clerkage charges will also be hiked from April. As per a railway notification, while reservation fee for second and sleeper class has not been revised, AC classes will be dearer by Rs 15 to 25 per ticket. Super fast charges have been increased by Rs 10 for sleeper and second class fare. For AC classes, the hike is between Rs 15 and Rs 25. Tatkal fee has been increased by 10% of the basic fare for second class and 30% for the all AC classes. While cancellation charges have been increased by Rs 10 to Rs 50 per ticket for confirmed tickets, clerk charges for cancellation of waiting list and RAC tickets will be hiked by Rs 5 for sleeper class and Rs 10 for AC class. Railway Minister Pawan Kumar Bansal had affected the hike in the basic passenger fare by 21% before the rail budget in January 22 this year. The hike in passenger fare was announced after 10 years as successive railway ministers during that period were not in favour of increasing fares. The railways expect to earn Rs 42,210 crores from passenger traffic and Rs 93,554 crores from goods transportation in 2013 and 14. Bureau Report, DD News. Well, passengers have reacted sharply to the hike. ये तो यानी कि जो रेल किराया बढ़ा है रेल किराया बढ़ाने के लिए बहुत गलत काम किया गया है कि अगर जिसके पास पैसा हो वो तो यानी कि अपना काम चला लेगा अगर गरीब भाई के पास पैसा ना हो तो सफर कैसे करेगा बढ़ा दिया गया है चार्जेस अब इतने प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम हो रही है सरकार दिन प्रतिदिन बढ़ाता ही जा रहा है इस तरह से बोझ नहीं देना चाहिए था रिजर्वेशन चार्ज बढ़ गए हैं और कैंसिलेशन जो चार्ज है वो भी बढ़ गए हैं अगर हम ज्यादा ट्रैवल करेंगे या कैंसिलेशन करवाएंगे तो उसमें तो हम ही लॉस है ना हम लोगों को जब हम प्लान करते हैं ट्रैवल तो हमें एक बार दो बार सोचना पड़ेगा बढ़ाना तो नहीं चाहिए था क्योंकि वैसे ही इतनी महंगाई बढ़ गई है और सरकार रेलवे की रिजर्वेशन डे बाय डे बढ़ाती जा रही है लेकिन किराया बढ़ा है तो मतलब फैसिलिटीज भी उसी तरह मिलनी चाहिए ज्यादा बढ़ा दिया इन्होंने रिजर्वेशन चार्जेस बढ़ा दिए हैं कैंसिलेशन चार्जेस बढ़ा दिए हैं रोड नॉर्मल किराया जो है सब बढ़ा दिया है इनको वापिस लेना चाहिए well, let's uh, go across to our correspondent, Siddhant Sibal, who's at the New Delhi Railway Station with more details. Uh, Siddhant, uh, looks like most of the people you spoke to didn't seem to like the hike. But, you know, when the hikes were announced in the railway budget and we did a similar sort of exercise, people accepted it, saying that it was necessary. Uh, so why the sudden change? Well, I would like to say that, of course, there is not a groundswell support here uh, at the railway station. Uh, but there is, a, there is a silent big majority which supports the fact that there has been a hike in the, the whole passenger thing on Jan, uh, January 22nd and then uh, today reservation charges, cancellation charges being hiked because it believes 
by the hype uh, they can get good uh, they can get safety security and modernization and that is the mool mantra of the railway ministry especially after the uh, after railway minister uh, mr bansal uh, took charge he in his first press conference said that i want this railways to have the best first class safety security and the quality of food he emphasized on that uh, 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 we saw uh, after 10 years uh, the the uh, the fare were increased right. on january 22nd uh, by around 21% uh, if i just can calculate at at that and later on uh, today uh, we are seeing a hike in the budget a specific provision was put the the fuel component provision according to which the fares of uh, passengers and freight will be linked to the fuel right. whether the fuel uh, the prices of fuel goes up or down remember diesel has been de uh, de uh, partially de right. decontrolled and railways is one of the biggest consumer of the diesel and if there is a hike in diesel prices it affects on the financial sure, uh, sure. it puts more financial burdens on the railways uh, uh, let me just tell you the uh, the expenditure in the railway uh, uh, revenue part Uh, railway has two main source of re uh, revenue one is the passenger and the freight for right, last so 10 years we have seen cross subsidization that is uh, there has been no hike in the passenger fare but there has been a big amount of hike on the freight if it affects because uh, if there is a hike in freight it uh, uh, the uh, the, uh, the the freight right. uh, Uh, prices are added into uh, what we eat the vegetables so then uh, tell us siddhant uh, do you think over a period of time people will start accepting this change and uh, say that it's necessary might not have been welcomed by a small minority but a silent majority is for a hike but with safety security and modernization as the three main features right thanks very much siddhant thank you for joining us from the railway station Well the deadline set by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting for the complete switchover